Hi friends, good evening. Today is 7 to 2021 and the time is roughly around 8.30. What a lackluster, uh, you know, moment in Bank Nifty today. Uh, but finally, it went and touched our number uh, in uh, futures and we have taken, we cut the off of the position and we are able to enter today at the low of Bank Nifty future. And uh, finally, I cut my off of my position at 3.15, but after that, there was a 100 points move. But anyway, not a problem. We carried 50% uh, of the portion, but the stock options which we took and especially today we picked up uh, SBI mm -hmm. based on the time cycle of uh, PSU bank and all the PSU uh, banks, small banks, you know, it is going like mad. But be little cautious there. You know, it's better to have some kind of a retracement there. But uh, SBI was a real, real rocker of the show today. And Manapuram, which was the yearly pick, uh, 2024 yearly pick and today it went and touched 191 which is the very important time cycle resistance and break above uh, easily uh, once it breaks above 196 easily it will go and touch 225 and the timing which we gave yesterday because there was no combo timing today so we clearly said kindly use uh, you know ppt timing and it really really did the wonder and apart from that one counter was uh, which was my favorite for the last, uh, you know, five, six years and where I was doing my SIP every month. And that counter is coming into my radar and I am going to cover a detail about that stock today. Let's go and see all that. Okay. So now, uh, first of all, uh, this is our, uh, first of all, we said, you know, concentrate on GMR first 15 minutes high and low and uh, PSU bank was the combination today. So SBI will be in limelight and this is the counter which I am going to cover today, which is the I am going to cover today and uh, uh, I said very clearly use PPT timing because there was no combo timing today and based on uh, uh, combination, this is the combination for today where you add GMR and IDEA and NSC Bank and PSU Bank plus Adani Port and PFC was a real rocker today uh, the move came after uh, 215 and it was a real rocker we took the delivery also of this so this is the combination for today and PSU Banks was the clear clear winner today especially SBA which we took and uh, going to the combo timing uh, the combo timing is uh, here the first combo timing is 1005 to 1015 which is combo 1155 to 1205, 145 to 155 and this is for bank, bank nifty. So now I already marked all these uh, timings in my system. Let's go and see the timing. So this is for nifty. Exactly it topped out at 1010 to 1015, the first combo time. After that none of the candle closed above, a candle closed below, it gave a retracement and it was a fall exactly it bottomed out on 1105 to 1155 to 11, 12 where we mentioned in the uh, ppt exactly it made the bottom year again it made the bottom year and from here it went and closed somewhere here so now how to trade this once you went short here mark this i and low once any candle closes above cover your short go long with the stop loss of this candle and you should not exit the long because this candle low is not breached this candle low is not breached so you need to continue to go long continue to be with the long and you can exit at 315 the complete position see how beautifully it worked in nifty and what time we are giving this timing we gave this timing yesterday night and we are posting this again to my members at 9 44 am 9.44 a.m. and again if you go to bank nifty if you go to bank nifty this is the timing the first five minutes timing and second this was a small timing mark the high and low it gave a move but again it closed here and you need to close your portion but bank nifty today completely sideways completely sideways so there was no movement but anyway this candle gave some good money out of it and we are able to enter long here based on fortune signals and uh, it gave a phenomenal move and if you go to uh, nifty bank nifty future we clearly said yesterday this is going to be the number 
exactly at 315 it went and touched this number see the difference between these two see the difference between this two hardly hardly seven points and that too on an expiry how market goes and respect these numbers it's a beautiful show anyway not a problem uh, let's come to tomorrow okay so now the number convergence is still there the number convergence is still there and it is getting tighter and tighter and tighter it means it is going to explode big time big time maybe tomorrow or day after maybe tomorrow or day after but now all the numbers are blue it means the price closed above all these numbers and again when it comes to here bank nifty yesterday there was some negative but here now everything closed above you know the, the price closed above all these numbers again this convergence is there which is 144 points and when it comes to nifty it is 33 points so 33 points is still intact and getting closer and closer and closer and the gan number is 19,000 it is closing exactly at the number it is closing exactly at the number but not able to close above my number which is 21,952 it is struggling to close above this number okay so watch it and uh, coming to uh, uh, again it is uh, you know the convergence is still there so use it and uh, most of the we have taken more than eight stocks uh, you know for delivery and we picked up one stock uh, long back and it has already doubled now uh, which is Vikas Life Vikas Life we bought it for 3 rupees 60 paisa and today it is 7 rupees 30 paisa now they are saying it is going to be a multi bagger penny stock and all that but anyway it is already doubled our price let's see how it is uh, going to do from year on okay and uh, let's go and talk uh, hdfc life first of all my long term number is 603 and short term number is 559 it came all the way very near to 559 but it has not touched that 559 the low was 561.55 but this is my short term number and this is my long term number so now it came and closed little above this number so normally i used to uh, you know go with the numbers whenever you know when it comes to hpcl i said once it crosses 252 and holds 239 or something like that it will double like that i have given many 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 counters and the recent additions are gujarat gas and petronet and now i am telling now i am telling if based on the pattern any weekly close above 625 target 832 based on my numbers based on my numbers any close above 603 on a weekly closing basis and if it holds after that 559 target is double of 603 which is 1206 this is my SIP counter which I am using and you know, doing it for a very long time which is my medical corpus actually so you can also do the same but now it is coming in limelight and coming to the monthly uh, February number OIM is 593 decider is 627 so any close above 627 for this month it will definitely do wonder it will definitely do wonder okay so now uh, when it comes to uh, fortune signals on monthly it has exactly taken the support here in the month of 2023 March and from there it is moving up so till it is not going to close below 456 there is no problem but this is a very big stop loss so we need to go to weekly so <clears throat> it came very near to this so even if it holds even if it holds this uh, which is roughly around uh, 533 itself it is more than enough for this stock to go up more than enough for this stock to go up and now this blue color is inside this blue and red so possibility of a move possibility of a move and when it comes to 
trend line uh, maybe you can use this trend line method uh, whatever you use so more or less the breakout is happening uh, when it comes to trend line and now uh, first moving average is taken out but all these are resistance based on the moving average but i don't give importance to moving average so kindly use your moving average but based on trend line this is what it is showing and when it comes to uh, ichimoku this is what really interests me so this is a wider gap it moved the wider gap and once it moves like this once it moves like this it will come and touch the cloud sure shot 99.99% if it is taking the bigger cloud it will again retrace back to the cloud if in case if that this breakout would have happened here then this is a different scenario altogether but it happened when the cloud is big when the cloud is big it will come and touch this you can use this in 5 minutes 15 minutes 1 hour one day anything and you will not find this in any of the youtube channel who talks about ichimoku who talks about ichimoku so now based on the weekly it has taken the support at the cloud and it is a flat formation and apart from that in weekly it is clearly seeing showing that the cloud is bullish and it is getting wider and it is getting wider so we need a close we need a close above this cloud on a weekly closing basis one candle must close above the cloud on a weekly close you know closing basis to say that the bottom is done based on this flat line okay so now when it comes to daily it is still having a problem so normally it may try to take the breakout here because now the cloud is becoming narrow it will try here or it will try here to break out uh, on the upper side but anyway this is a very big uh, story it is uh, it has to go up roughly around 55 days from here and let's see whether first it is going to close above the conversion line sorry baseline and uh, this is the baseline this is the conversion line and once it crosses above this guy has to come out of the cloud and uh, after that you will see a phenomenal rally but what it clearly says is on or before on or before 16th february it should cross this and close above otherwise again it will have a lot of rejections here a lot of rejections here so maybe we will see that later and when it comes to pitchfork it says very clearly the bottom is already done based on the pitch 4 and it is moving towards this green color line which is roughly around 700 to 725 700 to 725 and based on the time cycle the first time cycle was here which was the very important time cycle uh, this was happened on 17th November 2023 so this will act as a major uh, resistance and the support level for uh, uh, you know uh, HDFC life okay so then these four time cycles are converging <laughs> okay so now these two are the first time cycle and the next two time cycle is going to happen on 9th of february and 12th of february so now 9th is holiday so 12th will be the key date for hdfc life so watch out for it and uh, i've already given my numbers you do all your research uh, this is more than enough even in gan angle when i checked uh, it has taken the support uh, here so so my number i always go with my number so till it holds 559 and any close above 603 on a weekly closing basis the target is 603 into 2 watch out and enjoy it okay that's all nothing more to add in this video again saying i'm not a sebi registered investment advisor so kindly go your do your homework or consult your financial advisors before taking any financial decisions uh, we are holding a lot of potions. We added a lot of potions today. Let's see how the market is going to go. 
and again i am not giving up my hope of 300 points in nifty and 750 points 900 points in bank nifty in a single day it may happen tomorrow or it may happen day after and uh, day after means which is actually uh, 10th means it will be very good because a lot of combinations are happening and uh, let's see how it is going to play a role uh, in the coming days okay that's all uh, see you tomorrow until then goodbye